Pasta tray bake is honestly one of my go-to dishes. I think I make this at least once a week. So have you seen these? I'm really, really loving this particular type of pasta. Look at it. I mean, it looks beautiful. Fusiloni. So this is fusilli, basically bigger. That's what the only means. I think the only thing you can go wrong with in pasta bake is if the pasta is too well cooked. Hundred right? percent. When it's yeah. that almost gloopy and like soft and falling apart, nobody likes an overcooked yeah. pasta. So that's my top tip: is to cook your pasta before, obviously, it's going into the bake, and almost sort of even slightly before al dente. Yeah. So don't cook it all the way through because it's going to keep cooking in the oven in the sauce. So then, just while our pasta is getting cooking, we can start putting the rest together. So. Mike, can we'll we put those make. amazing chefing knife, <laughs> knife skills? Flattery will <laughs> get work. you everywhere. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll have nice skinny slices, please, of okay, that. Cool. And then I'm using chicken thighs. I use chicken thighs, I've got to admit, more than I use breasts, because I think they're more flavorful, basically. Do you know what? That surprises me and makes me incredibly happy. Because it's so much more flavor. I'm good to, uh, I'm, I'm very glad I'm making you happy, Mike. <laughs> it is more flavor, but you know what? It's also got more iron, more zinc, and I do agree with you. I think it tastes better. So I'm just gonna brown my chicken. So I pack in my veggies. So we've got the red onion, we've got the capsicum, we've got some zucchini going in here, and some broccoli, and tomatoes, and garlic, plus the chili. What I'm loving about this chili product, though, is yeah. that I know if you've got really young kids or you've got people who just don't like chili, then you can add a little bit to the dish, or you can then just pop the jar on the table so people like me, <laughs> who love their chili, can then just add a bit more at the table. Okay, I reckon our chicken is about ready. So I'm gonna remove the chicken from the pan and then saute our veggies. And you can use the same chicken bowl here because we're gonna recook the chicken. Our veggies can all go in. Do you want me to do Just the courgette? Go... Yes, please. Courgette. Oh, zucchini. The brain you came zucchini. out there. <laughs> it's it's okay. a courgette to me, guys. I'm English. <laughs> but it's okay. I understood your language. Okay, so sorry off all the veggies in the extra virgin olive oil. That's right, amazing. so we're doing the zucchini. I was going to do the broccoli, but you know what? I'm going to pass it to you again, <laughs> you, to do that because you're doing such an amazing job, Mike. Do you know what? Would I get a job for you? <laughs> <laughs> in goes some garlic. Give that all a really good stir. I'm going to add some salt and some black pepper. And I am going to put fresh herbs in here, but I try to do them as close to the end as possible. So we'll add those just as we bring it all together. So loving my black pepper. Oh, I love that you've chopped me up the broccoli stock. Use everything, no waste. Because so many people chuck the stock away and it's so nutritious. Super tasty. No food waste. Super tasty. So I'm gonna pop in my chili and I'm loving this chili. It's Australian made, it's all natural ingredients, it's gluten free and you can add as much or as little as you like. I always add lots because I'm a bit of a chili lover. <laughs> it looks so delicious. So I'm gonna put a good teaspoonful of that in there. Give it a stir. We can return the chicken to the pan along with any of the juices. Some fresh, just half cherry tomatoes, or if you want, you can use a can of, of cherry tomatoes. Could you okay. use tinned tomatoes if you didn't have any yeah. fresh? Yeah, well, I've been buying those cans of, of cherry tomatoes. Yeah. In a can that are really, really good. But yeah, it could just be a can of chopped or plum tomatoes. So here's our pasta. It's just not quite cooked, so just be careful that you're watching it not overcooking it, pop it into the pan. Don't worry if a bit of that pasta water goes in there, that's totally fine. Some white wine, and don't worry if you're cooking for kids, I'm only got a tiny amount of white wine and the alcohol all cooks off when you're cooking with wine. And then something I use all the time, do you ever use this? <laughs> it's like it? cooking cream, it's like a cream cheese. Oh yeah. A bit lower in fat, because I want the fat to come from my extra virgin olive oil and from the parmesan, so it just gives a nice, creaminess. If you want to use a little cream, then that's fine by me. I love that. I actually do that. I, I use it for, like, my youngest, for some of his pasta sauces. Yeah, nice. Obviously, not for myself. Okay. I use full-fat cream for me. <laughs> <laughs> I suspected as much. <laughs> I'm just going to take it off the heat now and add, oh, look at your beautiful chopping, your fresh herbs in there. Lovely. Okay. Thank you, sir. We'll pop that in. So I'm using basil and parsley, but you know, whatever fresh herbs you've got, I do think fresh herbs make a big difference. And now I'm gonna ask you a question about that. Yeah. Why is it that sometimes you're told don't slice basil, do it, rip it with your hands? 
and then you just sliced it, which I do. So I'm really it, happy to see you do that. It bruises very quickly. Obviously, you, you take out some of the, the natural oils from the herbs. So ripping it is definitely better for it. But something yeah. like this, the chiffonade, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's going to break up. It's just going to become part of that beautiful pasta. I love how I learn something every time I'm on set. <laughs> Okay, so God, how good does that look already? It smells Lovely. amazing. Yeah, beautiful smells in there. All those veggies are packed in. Um, and all I'm going to do is top it with, could you pass me the microplane? One of my favourite cheeses, Parmesan, over the top. But you could use cheddar, tasty cheese, mozzarella, whatever, whatever you've got in the fridge. And that's it. So easy to throw together. All I'm going to do now is pop it into the oven, 180, for about 20, 30 minutes. And that's it. Awesome. So out of the oven, it's ready to serve. How good does that look? It smells incredible. Do you know what? And I actually quite like when the pasta bits, see how they go a little bit crispy on the yeah. top? Oh, those chewy bits of pasta. So That's what is the, the best bit, bit of any, any bake or lasagna is the crispy corners, the crispy edges. Oh, yes. Couldn't agree more. You have to fight over those toppings. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Shall we have a sneaky I taste? Wait. I'm dying to try this big pasta. Mmm, that's awesome. And the cheesiness is, it's not cheesy, but it's it, its that subtle sort of creamy sort of texture to it. That's just a go-to dish in my house. Always a winner. I can see why. <laughs> Yum. <laughs>